Game number three is getting underway right now. Who's going to get gotten in this one? We're going to have to find out because game number three, both of them hunting for advantage in this match. Yeah, I'm just going to see where Nyria goes from here and what Green Chief does. And I love this out of Green Chief, the resilient, resilient, aggressive deck. Yeah, I mean, this is actually a pretty darn good matchup, though, for uh, any sort of freeze mage style of deck. Has plenty of ways to keep the board in check. Plenty of ways to clear out the board in the later stages of the game. And once they run out of gas, it's difficult for them to deliver that final blow. Well, a Molten Giant might get into the game pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, Molten Giants seem to be a, a very strong answer to some of the aggression. Rather than just relying on stuff like Alex Straza and Pyroblast to get the job done, he wants these big threats against decks that can't check them very well. Yeah, having a zero mana 8-8 late in the game, pretty good. Yeah, having a Mad Scientist on turn two, also pretty good. Also a great draw. Yeah. One of the best ways to contest a Knife Juggler on turn Ooh. two, but Green Sheep maybe has a way to protect this a little bit now. Yeah, this is going to give him, you know, a little bit of a pause here because it's pretty important to protect this knife juggler going forward, but we're just going to get double knife jugglers in play and, oh, it went to the face. Good yeah. for, you know, good juggle there for Green Every Sheep. point of damage matters, but, you know, again, that tension builds. Every point of damage also gets them one step closer to Molten Giants. Yeah, but you just have to push in this matchup and try to find a way to finish him off late in the game. You can't give him all the time in the world because then he is going to find Molten Giants. He is going to find answers. Yeah, you I have actually, to make him have them earlier. I really like the uh, the hero power here from Nyria. Set it up for next turn. You also have Leopard and a couple with that. You can use that Arcane Intellect very easily later on in the game. But right now, you know, finish off this Knife Juggler and alleviate some of that pressure. You even got Ice Barrier. Off gained eight life. Yeah. Yep. Good stuff from him. I think but, I would play a minion that's a 2-2 two, two for two that gains eight life when it leaves no, play. No, that would be terrible. <laughs> Why would you ever play that? Here, Power gonna take off this knife juggler and then loot hoard of this board. And he's got to be feeling good about his chances this game. Absolutely. Now this void, uh, this void walker. We'll have to see if it gets into play this turn because you know, this is a pretty good turn for it. It's gonna be coupled with this direwolf alpha. And do you abuse the sergeant here and really push because they really can't get a board sweep going just yet. Yeah, that's exactly what Green Ship's gonna do. He wants to apply maximum pressure to his opponent with that void walker down. He's protecting uh, that direwolf alpha. So. Onus is on Nyria to be able to answer this, but he does have two sweepers, but they're not going to be in the, this turn. Just said he can he can Blizzard next turn and Flame Strike the turn after. Yeah, and just continue to add to his hand in the meantime. Frostbolt not too bad in this spot either, but you know how much damage is he? He has to balance the amount of damage he wants to take. Also, I mean that's there's a, a lot of math going on in every one of these turns with that going on with these uh these molten giants. It's such a difficult position to be in when you have molten giants in your deck because you have to actually balance how much damage you want to take from attacks. You know, you don't always necessarily just want to outright answer everything. And with Void Call on the board, always a scary minion. You know, if Malganus comes out of this, you're like, no, it's the last thing I wanted to see. Let's ship a game hunter. <laughs> now this implosion not gonna be very good for Green Ship going forward. And not a way to utilize it pretty now, much at all. Nyree is trying to think, is there a chance he doesn't use Blizzard here this turn? Because this isn't the best board ever to Blizzard. Uh, yeah, I'd have to agree with you as well. I mean, it does prevent a lot of the damage, but again, he wants to take a certain amount of damage. Well, the problem is, if you Blizzard here, there, it's very likely that you have to Flame Strike the turn after this as well. And if you could set up a decent board where you don't have to give up your Blizzard, but you can still Flame Strike next turn and get a lot of value out of it, that's something Nyree is actively looking for, and that's what he's going to do this turn. Well, the other thing, too, is with this Ice Block down, he prevents himself from outright dying uh, to any amount of burst that Green Sheep's going to have. And when he takes uh, four, five, six, when he takes nine damage here, he's going to be able to play Molten Giant and Flame Strike afterwards. But Nerubian Egg, that will help protect him against uh, any Flame Strike shenanigans. And Void Terror added to his hand, he'll have a Demon Ender play as well. A yeah, pretty good two draws in a row here for Green Sheep because Nyria is going to get this 8-8 eight, eight into play. Yeah, Nye, and Green Sheep understands that he probably just cannot wait. His game plan is damage, and damage is what he has to deliver. This is the big turn for Nyria now. Has Ice Block set up, has Flame Strike to help clear this board, has Molten Giant to add behind this. He's going to be patient in Blizzard instead, though. The one one gets added to the board, then everything gets frozen. The four four though. The four four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. This is actually this is I actually really like this sequencing from Nyria too, because in the next turn, say he flame strikes this board and Malganus does come out, he has a molten giant to actually deal with it straight away. Oh, this is actually great play from Nyria here. I love this. The green sheep gonna have to life tap here and hope that he can it get is, something rolling. It's, it's awesome that Nairi has things like Molten Giant in his deck for this kind of matchup. He gets to actually pressure Green Sheep's life total at some point in time. So he can't just, you know, 
continue to life tap every single turn going forward because that's that's one of the ways this deck can get into this matchup. Yeah, it's a really interesting approach, and we haven't seen anything else to indicate that this is something like Echo Mage. You know, it's just been taking his time. Yeah, I, I think he is just Freeze Mage. Yeah, I think it's just Freeze Mage with Molten Giants so far. There's no yeah. reason to believe it's anything else. Flame Strike. Yeah, there's just no Pyro Blast that I have to think of this deck. Yeah, and he's gonna be able to kill whatever minion comes out of this. But does he want to do that? Nope. He, he wants yeah. heat. He's hunting. He yeah, he's hunting right for wins, now. Yeah. Green Sheep. Not a bad one. No, not at all. I mean, anytime that you can pull pressure away from yourself in the face of the Molten Giant and continue to apply pressure yourself. So he here's what Green Sheep has to think about this turn. How much pressure can he apply? Because he needs to be applying pressure and doing more, but he might be make a big Void Terror turn this turn and then Defender Vargas up the... Uh... Yeah, I think it's exactly what he's going to do. I mean, he's got the exact mana for it. Uh, it's going to contest well, Molten I mean, Giant I by itself. I would have liked to have seen him Defender of Argus a little sooner and get the extra damage here and the extra buff. Well, he's putting it on the Flame Imp to make sure he gets that, too. He wants the... He wants oh, yeah, the, he wants the 8-8 eight, eight to be... Okay, he yeah, wants yeah. it to be a 9-9. Nine, nine. Yeah, and I he thought, I thought it would be a 9-9. I thought it was just going to be an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, and he pops the Ice Block this way, too. So, uh, Nyria is going to have to take some sort of action against this, but, again, plenty of tools to do it. It's got to be a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I actually thought the Void... Yeah. <laughs> I actually thought the Void Terror was only going to be an 8-8 eight, eight there. I, uh... Didn't take it to the fact that it was a 1-1 one, one before the power overwhelming. Yeah, it's looking like a Firebolt, Fireball Frostbolt turn to me. Um, mm. But then he's got to commit the rest of his mana to either Ice Block or Ice Fairy afterwards. And which one's more important in that spot? You know, he's thinking about, can I die to something like Power Overwhelming Doomguard if I just set the Ice Barrier? Fireball Frostbolt going to be his turn. Molten Giant going to run over this Flame Imp, but he feels like he's, he's totally okay in the face of pressure. A 9, 10, 11, it wouldn't be enough damage between Doomguard and uh, Power Overwhelming alone, and Green Sheep doesn't have either of them right now. Green Sheep needs to roll fully high on this implosion to take. Ooh, he picked up the Doomguard. This is actually getting a little bit scary for Nyria now. Uh, Green Sheep going to be able to take out this Molten Giant, adding a Ruby and Egg to the board so the AoE also gets a little bit challenged, and then he has Doomguard to follow it up. I mean, this is a, starting to look like a perfect pan out yeah, for Green Sheep. Yeah, you're going to see Nyria really push to get ahead of him. He might develop this Ice Block, but it might be something like Arc Mage into Ice Block and try to end this game as soon as possible. Yeah, only rolls two in Implosion. That's not what he wanted to see, but every point of damage does matter in this spot. But Nyria once again has a clean turn ahead of him with Arc Mage Antonitis and Ice Block behind this. I mean, Green Sheep has to do something about this. That's yeah, a great turn for Nyria here. I'm just going to Arcade Intellect. Still feel safe in the face of pressure. It would only be 11 damage between Power Overwhelming and Doom Guard as well. Yeah, and he's effectively at 12 here, so he would just only go to one and be able to live. Yeah, has that ice barrier in play. Uh, whoa, Ooh, picks up the molten what giant. a draw for that Nyria, That is a reason too. to play the Arcane Intellect. Yeah, that is certainly a reason to play the Arcane Intellect. You can see that Green Sheep is feeling a lot of pressure in this one right now. I mean, he can't let the Archmage Antonidas live. He knows that Nyria's got a fireball. So, he, I mean, he's effectively at two life. He can't life tap in this spot either. Yeah, he's going to have to give up this, this uh, oh, Doctor Boom. Oh, gosh, this he's, feels he's feel. so gross. And you can just... Green Sheep has to just feel defeated at this point. He's going to life tap and hope that things go his way. Bane of Doom is not going to be enough in this spot. Doesn't have the mana to make use of all of his cards. And Nyria, I mean, even Nyria looks a little bit tense in this scenario. But, you know, if he could see Green Sheep's hand, he'd be, he'd be, yeah, he'd be feeling a, right yeah, now. He'd be feeling a lot better, yeah. Nyria, oh, Green Sheep just shaking his head. Hoping that this is something like Duplicate. This is actually, honestly, I like this line from Green Sheep to just hope it's something like Duplicate. If you attack for two, you can just Bane a Doom and kill him. Mm -hmm. I, actually, I actually really like that. Yeah, it's actually, uh, he found the only line where he can... can... Can Green Sheep Bane a Doom his own minion and get Malganus? Well, this is, this is something he can... Yeah, I was supposed to say, you can Bane a Doom your own minion here. I mean, about as about the, you know, the best play turn you can have from Green Sheep. I think he went to the ends of the earth to find the right sequence of plays, but it wasn't going to be enough. Nyria takes a 2-1 lead with this Molten Giant Freeze Mage deck now. This is looking unbeatable at the moment. Yeah, a lot of tension there at the end of the game. Nyria getting a little bit nervous. You can see Green Sheep with his head in his hands. Just, how did this one get away from me here?